Hey, I'm Neil. Welcome to Petrogy. This video is released to patrons on Patreon on March 31st. Ratings are from 1 to 5, 1 being fish somewhere else, and 5 being quit your job. You just have to get there. From May 1st through the 15th, my data tells me that historically, the Bunch Reservoir in Arizona has an average rating of 5.0. Woods Canyon Lake in Arizona has an average rating of 4.0. Patterson Ponds in Arizona has an average rating of 4.0. Carnero Lake in Arizona has an average rating of 4.0. Becker Lake in Arizona has an average rating of 4.0. The Tunnel Reservoir in Arizona has an average rating of 4.0. The River Reservoir in Arizona has an average rating of 4.0. Crescent Lake in Arizona has an average rating of 4.0. Halsey Lake in Arizona has an average rating of 4.0. The Shoshone River in Wyoming has an average rating of 4.0. The Madison River between Quake Lake and Ennis in Montana has an average rating of 4.0. The Rock Creek in Montana has an average rating of 4.0. The Bitterroot River in Montana has an average rating of 4.0. The Blackfoot River, the river that runs through it, in Montana has an average rating of 4.0. Chevalon Canyon Lake in Arizona has an average rating of 3.75. Boulder Creek in Colorado has an average rating of 3.75. The Mississippi River, Brainerd to Elk River in Minnesota, has an average rating of 3.75. The St. Croix River, Norway Point to Wild River State Park in Minnesota, has an average rating of 3.75. According to the Farmer's Almanac, the best fishing dates will be Wednesday, May 8th in the evening, and Thursday, May 9th in the evening. I've been collecting fly fishing data from fly fishing reports since July of 2016. Originally it was just for Arizona, then I quickly expanded to everything within 1,500 miles of Phoenix. Later I added my home state of Minnesota and places I was traveling for work. I'll only report on those rivers with at least two years worth of data. The problem with fly fishing reports is the data is already two weeks old by the time you get it. I'm a planner and I want to know what the fishing will be like in the future, not what it was like two weeks ago. Because what was happening in Arizona where the fish are mostly stocked, by the time I get there, it was all fished out a week or two prior. Thank you for watching, and good luck out there.